Konnichiwa. This is the Shogun Steam. And this is a look at the new expansion for Forest Shuffle. That is the Alpine expansion. It's from Lookout Games. Forest Shuffle was a game that uh, someone brought to a game night a few months back. We sat down to play it. First round or two, I had no idea what I was doing. It was very complicated, I thought, and I had no idea what was going on. By the third round, I was in, and it's one of my favorite games from then on. So it takes a couple rounds to get used to. Once you understand how to play it, it's a fantastic game. One of my favorite games of uh, the last year. Now, a couple things about expansions. Normally, I'm not a big expansion fan because a lot of times they're a cash grab. A lot of time they are things that uh, maybe should have been in the base game and they're just trying to squeeze a few uh, more shekels out of you. So for the most part, I don't like expansions. Now, sometimes you get an expansion that fixes something. I understand that. That's different. Sometimes you get an expansion that maybe adds solo or fixes up two player or maybe adds a fifth or sixth player. I understand that. That's fine. But again, a lot of expansions tend to be cash grabs. The other type of expansion, and this is where I'm at with Forest Shuffle. Sometimes you play a game so much, and that was our case with Forest Shuffle. We played it so much that you want a little something more because you've played it a lot of times already. And a great example for that for me is Parks. During the pandemical, I played Parks nonstop. And it got to a point after a couple of months of playing Parks where it was starting to get a little old and then they came out with their first expansion and it added just enough to breathe new life into the game. With Forest Shuffle, and here's another thing, a lot of times with the Cult of the New, we all have that person or a couple people in the gaming group that uh, has to buy every new game. Sometimes you get multiple people that have to buy every new game. So what happens on game night? Everyone's bringing new games. Again, you spend 30, 40, 50, 60, maybe 100, maybe $150 on a game you want to play it. Everyone has new games. You have a five hour game night and you have five people bringing new games. It ends up being show and tell. So you're playing a new game, and then you never see it again because everyone's rushing to get their game to the table. Then the next week, it's like rinse and repeat. So a game like Forest Shuffle, you got to play a lot of times. Because there are so many different things you can do. So many cool combos. So many things you're going to figure out. Score points. So many things like butterflies you're going to find out don't really score a lot of points. But you have to play it a lot to figure that out. We've done that with Forest Shuffle. And we're at the point where little Shogunstein has kind of broken the game a little bit. Because he always gets a lot of points. He knows how to make those combos. Again, with Forest Shuffle, if you only play it once... And then you don't see it again because everyone's got to bring their brand new Kickstarter game that they just got and paid $180 for. You're not going to get to the point. So before you run out to buy this expansion, get the base game and you really got to dig in because they're all different combos with the trees and the deer and the don't do the butterflies with the birds and with your salamanders. There's so many different ways to score. So... Bottom line, we're at the point where we needed some new cards because we've really played the heck out of Forest Shuffle. It is a fantastic game. I can't recommend the base game enough. Now, we just got the expansion today. just came in the mail from Amazon. So let's take a look at what's in it. So again, you're getting uh, some new cards. You're not getting a ton. So again, I do like expansions that... Um, I think you're getting 36 cards in here. I do like expansions that aren't, you know, going to, like, totally change the game. And I felt that was the nice thing about that Parks expansion. It was just enough new stuff without it being overwhelming. So here you got 36 new cards. So we got some new tree cards. So we got uh, the European Larch. Now, with Forest Shuffle, you got, you know... You're going to score. you got to lay down the it's a forest. you got to have a tree. Now, be careful in the forest. I watched that 411, so you got to be careful in the forest. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's UFOs. I don't know if it's Sasquatch. But that missing 411 has got me freaked out. So we got our trees. Now, so you're going to get three acorns for this tree. So, again, before you can build anything else, you got to have your, your trees. So we got our uh, we got European larch. We 
got more European larch, European larch. Okay, so we got some European larch trees. And okay, if you pay for it with that, you're gonna get to play a card with, with that uh, suit. But you get three acorns for each one of these guys you, you got. Okay, then we got the stone pine. All right, so if you build it using this color, you're gonna get uh, a card, and then you're gonna get acorns. Acorns is scoring for uh, each of these symbols you got. So this could be a, a good score. I wanna know what they're doing to fix the butterflies in here though. That's what it's all about. How are you gonna make me get some more points off butterflies? Okay, so again, so with forest shuffle, what happens is you gotta build, you know, you're gonna be building things, you know, the habitat, you know, you're gonna have cards that go either on this side, or they're gonna go on this side. And again, you're trying to do the combos. You can't figure out the combos if you only play this game once. So get beyond that cult of the new, get this game and really dig in. So here we got the, the Marmot, that's gonna get you acorns, and we got the, the Charmin. Don't squeeze it at the Charmin. Again, you can get some acorns here. All right, we got, uh, let's see, we got some birds, we got more marmots. So we're getting acorns here, okay. We got different hairs now. So this counts as um, European hairs. Those tend to, to, to pile up. So the, uh, the hairs, good way to, you know, stack. Now what does it say about the mountain hair? The mountain hair, Counts as a European hair for scoring, but does not share its card slot with other hairs. Okay, so the other hairs you can usually uh, stack up. All right, so you got your hairs. Again, an easy way to get some extra points. Well, oh my God, you get 10. Look at this, the Steinbach gets you 10 acorns. That's a pretty OP card. That's a good one. Again, again, we got more Charmin. We got the, the Capri Salad. Hair, ten acorns. That's a good card. Okay, so we got the, at least five acorns. At least three. Okay, if we got three different bats. All right. So some good ways. Okay, this interests me a lot because when you first play the game, first couple games you're gonna play, you're gonna fall into this trap with the butterflies. But now we're getting another butterfly, and it's kicking up the scoring to go up to 35 points. That makes it a lot better of a strategy. Right now, the way it is, the, the butterflies is not a great strategy. All right, so we got butterflies. We got some more birds. So again, what's going to happen is these, you got cards. It's multi-use. You could decide to play it on the, the bottom. or you could decide to play it on the top. So we got, uh, we got some eagles. Okay. We got more birds, more what? So see here we're getting, okay, so here with this flower, it's giving us acorns towards butterflies. So again, one of the criticisms, and I wouldn't say criticism because you gotta play it enough times to figure out what's going on, but the butterflies ultimately, spoiler, in the base game, don't get you enough points. But here we're actually boosting up the, the butterflies. Okay. So you're gonna get more birds, more things for the, for the bottom. And get you five acorns. So it looks like what they're doing here is giving you some other ways to, to score to kind of balance out some of the OP cards in, so here you're scoring more for the insects. So again, in the base game, there's some combos you can figure out that are pretty OP that's hard to balance out. But here we're doing some stuff with insects and birds and uh, butterflies to help you score and then some more points. Okay, so we got the, the golden eagle, got flowers, we got uh, the Pipe Strell, the Mountain Hare. All right, so looking forward to 
mixing this into the, the deck here. So again, they're showing you what you got here. You got 36, they're telling you um, what the symbol is for the expansion. That's gonna help you in the, the scoring. So some other rules changes. So when you combine the two, you're gonna take, uh, take 10 cards out of the box right away. So when you get this expansion, you're gonna mix them up and you're gonna take out 10 cards unseen. Then, depending on, this is important because sometimes we forget to do this, depending on your player count, this is the number of cards you're gonna play with. And then you gotta watch out because winter's coming, you got those three winter's coming cards. Not like George R. R. Martin, that winter's never coming, but with those, they, you know, the game can end very quickly. So we got uh, the Vulture, Oak and Strawberry, Butterflies, Mountain Air. And there's our new symbol. This is again for the Alps, Alpine Larch, Swiss Pine. Awesome. So very excited for this. Again, not a huge expansion, 36 cards, but it looks like it's enough to kind of give you a uh, chance to kind of balance out some of those other OP combos and to boost up things like the, the butterflies and just some other ways that, uh, again, if you only play far shuffle once or twice, you're not gonna get to this point. But if you really dig into this game, you can really figure out uh, some ways to kind of break the game a little bit. It looks like this is gonna bring a little bit of uh, balance to the to the force here. Great game, love far shuffle, let you know how to uh, expansion works once we uh, mix these cards in. This is the Shogunstein out.